Hi everyone, and welcome to the University of Victoria. My name is Erin, and I'm going to be your tour guide for today. Hi, my name is Eduardo, and I'm your other tour guide, and I welcome you to take this tour with us at UVic today. Right behind me is the First People's House. I'd like to take this time just to acknowledge with respect that we are on the traditional territory of the Lekwungen people. The Songhe, Squamal, and Wasanich people have a relationship with the land that continues up to this day. And this is what this building is about. This is a home away from home for Indigenous students. It offers services for both domestic and international Indigenous students, such as scholarship opportunities, counseling, and academic advising. They have a beautiful ceremonial hall inside, and this is one of my favorite buildings on campus. It is extremely environmentally friendly. All the glass you can see is all recycled glass. The roof is a green roof, and those walls on the side are all made of compressed dirt. So right now we're standing outside of the University Centre, which has a host of resources that are available to UVic students throughout the entirety of their degree. On the bottom floor of the University Centre in the B Wing is the Welcome Centre. This is a great spot, especially for incoming students, to ask any questions they might have about the university. If you're lost, you don't know where to go, you just have a question about campus, head over to the Welcome Centre and the people at the front desk are going to be able to answer your question or direct you to someone who can. Right next to the Welcome Centre is the One Card office. Your One Card is what I describe as your all-access pass during your time at UVic. It acts as your bus pass, your library card, your gym pass, your student ID, and what you would use when you go to health services. Right next to the One Card office is Mystic Market. This is a great food spot on campus for students in all years to grab a quick bite, whether it's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. There's a variety of healthy options like salads, sandwiches, and soups, as well as coffee, a small convenience store, and of course, a couple of spots to get some treats. Right over next to the Mystic Market is Farkor Auditorium. If you're someone who loves to go to plays and performances, this is definitely worth checking out. Head over to the Ticket Center and they often have student rush deals. So a couple minutes before showtime, if the tickets aren't sold out, you can get a great ticket at a cheap price to go enjoy some entertainment. It's also where you're gonna cross the stage when you graduate from UVic. So it's a special place for a lot of people on campus. Upstairs in the University Centre, there's also an, a lot of other resources that are here to support students. First and foremost, there's academic advising for the Faculty of Science, Social Sciences and Humanities. If you have any questions about degree planning or what courses to take in the upcoming semester, you can make an appointment with an academic advisor who's going to be able to help you out. There's also the Office of Student Awards and Financial Aid upstairs. If you have questions about bursaries, scholarships, or student loans, they will be able to help you out and answer those questions for you. They also have the Work Study Program, which is a program available for students on campus to find some part-time work to supplement their income while they're doing their degree. There's a lot of options in the Work Study Program and I highly recommend checking it out. There's the Office of International Student Services upstairs. If you're an international student attending UVic, they're going to help you with the onboarding process to UVic and any questions you might have about coming to Canada and university at the University of Victoria. If you're a domestic student at UVic and you're hoping to do a study abroad program or an exchange during your time here, you're also going to have some support from the International Student Services. Just behind the University Centre, you're going to find the super convenient Campus Bike Centre. The centre is an attractive, safe and comfortable area for cyclists. The development of the centre included improvements to the lighting, painting of the walls and adjusting the circulation and access arrangements to facilitate its use by cyclists. The centre provides covered bike parking for 234 bikes, equipment lockers, benches and an expanded renovated space for the Spokes Bicycle Program, which is a program where UVic students can rent out bikes for a really cheap price. So now we're standing in front of the McKinnon Gym. This is the home for the School of Exercise Science, Physical and Health Education. This is where the pool is and there's little small weight room. All of these places are included in your UVic tuition for free for students to use. And there's a multi-purpose gym on the back where a lot of first year exams happen. Right now we're standing outside CARSA, which is the Center for Athletics, Recreation and Special Abilities. This is where all your recreation needs are going to be met on campus. 
We have a weight room here that's two floors. So we have all the gym equipment you need, plus all the cardio equipment, like rowing machines, treadmills, and ellipticals. On the second floor of CARSA, we have squash courts, as well as studios that hold dance classes, yoga classes, and TRX classes. CARSA also is home to a 16 meter climbing wall, which is a really popular attraction for students at UVic. And the memberships here are available for whatever suits your needs best. CARSA is home to CanAssist, an organization that develops assistive technologies for individuals with special abilities. They often have co-op opportunities for UVic students, as well as volunteer opportunities. So they're a great organization to check out. UVic is home to eight varsity sports teams, but we also have a ton of ways to get involved recreationally, like intramurals. Whether you wanna play indoor sports or outdoor sports, you can sign up for an intramural team as an individual or with a team. And it's a great way to get in some exercise as well as social time. CARSA is home to the Performance Gym, which seats just over 2,000 individuals. You can go there to see the Vikes Varsity basketball team play and see our cheerleaders perform, as well as the UVic band. There's a lot of great events that take place in the Performance Gym, like Dodgeball in Dark and the UVic Yoga Rave. Now, we're in front of the Student Wellness Center. Along with CARSA and the McKinnon Gym, this is the new wellness hub at the UVic campus. It offers support emotionally, physically, and spiritually for all registered UVic students. If you are a registered student, you get access to free counseling with all the counselors here at UVic, either appointment or drop-in hours. This is where the health clinic is. By bringing your one card, you can set up appointments or just drop-in hours to talk to doctors or nurses. Right now, we're standing at the campus bus loop, which is the hub for transit at UVic. Your one card, which is your student card, acts as your bus pass. About 30% of UVic students, faculty, and staff commute to school using the bus. Just to give you a bit of context, it takes about 15 minutes to bus downtown from UVic, and about five minutes to bus to the closest large grocery store. If you're from the mainland, something that I like to mention about the bus loop is that on Fridays, and Sundays, there's direct buses from UVic all the way out to Swartz Bay, so it's easy to hop on a bus and catch the ferry to go home or visit Vancouver. Something you're going to notice when you take the bus at UVic is that people are incredibly friendly. The bus drivers are great and everyone says thank you when they get off the bus and hello when they get on the bus. Now we're in front of campus security. This building is here to make sure you feel safe on campus. It is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At any time on campus, if you have an emergency, you can call their phone number and they'll come to you. This is also where Lost and Found is and a couple of different services that help you feel safe. One of them is Campus Safe Walk. If at any time on campus you feel unsafe walking from one place to another, you can call them and they'll send someone to walk with you. There's also the Campus Alone program. If you're studying late at night anywhere on campus, you can call them and they'll send someone to check up on you every hour or so just to make sure you're doing good. Also, if you're bringing a car to campus, this is where you can purchase a discounted parking pass. If you're also bringing an electric vehicle, you can find a lot of different electric chargers spread throughout the campus and a few of them are right in front of the campus security. So right now we're sitting outside the campus bookstore, which is where you can get all your UVic goodies when you come to campus. So everything from UVic swag, like hoodies, sweatpants, hats, all the way to school supplies with UVic binders, pencils, and pens and papers, as well as all the textbooks you need for your courses at UVic. The bookstore is also a great way to find a part-time job on campus. Downstairs in the lower floor of the bookstore, there's a printing center if you ever need to do an academic poster for one of your courses at UVic. We also have a computer center in the bookstore, so if you're needing to buy a new laptop or just any other technological gadget, you'll be able to find it there. And once you've bought those books, or you're even just looking for a place to study when you've hopped off the bus in the morning, there's a coffee shop right below the bookstore that's open seven days a week with varying hours. So now we're in front of the Campus Services Building. In here, there's the Co-op and Career Services. UVic is a very strong university on co-op. We were one of the first universities in Canada to have a co-op program. For a couple of faculties like engineering and business, co-op is mandatory. You're gonna have to do work terms to be able to graduate. 
For other faculties though, it is optional but extremely recommended. Not only can you get a lot of networking with employees, but you can also get a lot of work experience to put on your resume before you graduate. And it's also a great way to make money, making sure you're working in the area of study you're in. You can make up to $2,900 on average per month for your co-op term here at UVic. Career Services also helps you with writing cover letters and resumes for free. They also have a bunch of different events that they post around the campus, such as career info fairs or resume writing. Another service in the Campus Services building is CAL, which stands for Center for Accessible Learning. You can go there and register if you have any learning obstacles while at UVic. If you need separate exam seating or if you need extra time for exams, make sure all of your obstacles are being taken care of because there is help. And here we are standing outside of the Student Union Building, affectionately called the Sub by UVic students. It's operated by the University of Victoria Student Society, which we call the UVSS. The Sub hosts a ton of resources for students. We have Felicitas, which is our campus pub, food outlets, including coffee shops, a health food bar, as well as a study spot called Vertigo. There's also a couple places in the Sub you might want to check out during your time here. First, there's Subtext. This is our campus used bookstore, where you can buy used books as well as sell used books. If you're trying to get rid of those old textbooks, you can use the campus buyback program at the campus bookstore. Next door to Subtext is Zap Copy. This is a place where you can get school supplies, as well, it has the cheapest printing on campus. Further up in the Sub, we have some health services available to students, including a dentist and a pharmacy. We also have Cinecenta, which is our campus movie theater. The UVSS helps operate over 200 clubs and course unions. In September and January, during the semester, there's usually a club and course union day where you can come to the sub and see what's available. It's a great way to get involved on campus as well as meet some great friends. There's also a basement compartment of the sub. This has our campus newspaper called the Martlet, the campus radio station, the CFUV, as well as our free food bank and free store. So now we're inside the resident services office. If you lose your keys, for example, you can come here and they're open seven days a week so you can pick up new keys. This is also where you can talk to the resident staff if you have any concerns. They're super nice and they're here to support you while living in the residences at UVic. You will have your own post box, but if you get sent any larger packages that can't fit in it, this is where they come. You can just come here, bring your one card and take your package home. And now we're standing outside of South Tower, which is one of our newer residence buildings on campus. UVic Residence is a great place to spend some time in university, to meet your new friends and get to know campus a little bit better. Most residences at UVic are single room dorms. However, if you're hoping to have a roommate, we also do have some double dorm options. When you move into residence, you're going to be greeted by something called CLs, which are community leaders. These are upper year students who have also lived in residence themselves, who are going to be here to support you during your time here, as well as make fun activities and social events where you can go and meet people and start to become part of the UVic community. If you're interested in meeting more like-minded people, UVic Residence has something called Living Learning Communities. These are located on different floors within the residence where you can find and meet like-minded individuals. Living Learning Communities might be interest-based or academic-based. For example, we have an engineering living learning community. So if you're new to UVic and you're coming to live in residence and also studying engineering, you can apply to live in the engineering LLC. And this way, you'd be on the same floor as other engineers at the university. There's also interest-based LLCs. For example, maybe you're really passionate about sustainability and the environment. If you live, lived on the sustainability LLC floor, you'd also be with other folks who have that as a passion and some activities you might do are beach cleanups. So here we are standing in Cluster. This is another option for living on campus at UVic. In cluster style housing, you're gonna be living in something like an apartment. You're gonna still have your own bedroom, but unlike residents, you're gonna be sharing a kitchen and washrooms with your roommates. So maybe if you're someone who follows a special diet or would just prefer to cook your own food, Cluster could be a really great option for you. 
That being said, if you do live in cluster but would still like to use the residence dining hall, you are more than welcome to do so. Similar to residence, cluster also has community leaders. So if you have any questions or concerns while you're living in cluster, you still have the support of an upper year student to guide you while living on campus. So one of the great things about living on residence at UVic is that you're just outside the ring on a bit of a quieter part of campus. And right at your doorstep is this, Mystic Vale. It's a beautiful chip trail that runs about three kilometers throughout the UVic campus and it is right on your doorstep. All right, so here we are standing outside of McPherson Library, which is the main library on campus. There are a ton of great resources inside that are really gonna help you throughout your degree. First, we have the Learning Commons, which hosts a lot of satellite offices for some of the services we've already talked about on the tour, like career services, academic advising, and so forth. There's also the Music and Media Commons. This is a desk near the back of the library where you can get a lot of excellent things to rent to help you with your studying or maybe just your personal interests. For example, you can rent noise cancelling headphones, phone and laptop chargers, and MacBook laptops but you can also rent really cool stuff like green screens, GoPros, and nice cameras. This library has four floors and there really is a spot to study for everyone. If you're someone who needs a lot of silence and quiet when you study, you're gonna find success on the basement or on the third floor of the library. If you don't mind a little bit of chatter, the first floor is a good place to start. It also has a lot of computer desks, both Mac and PC, where you can get your studying done. The second floor is a great place to group study. There's lots of tables, people are chattering and brainstorming, and it has a really great atmosphere. Right next to the library is Biblio Cafe. So if you need to grab a snack or coffee when you're studying, it's super close by and the people are really friendly. Another great thing about the McPherson Library is our librarians. So if you're right working on a paper, you're having a tough time finding a reference, or maybe you just don't even know where to start, go to the library help desk. The librarians are here to help you with the assignments that you have. So now we are in the front of the Bob Wright Center, which is the home for the ocean, earth and atmospheric sciences. Chances are that if you're in engineering, sciences or social sciences, you're probably going to have a class in here. They have the largest lecture hall on campus with about 380 seats. On the basement of this building, they also have the second most powerful microscope in the world. And on the top of this building, we have the second largest telescope in any Canadian university campus. We also have another telescope that has a smiley face on it. So now we're standing in the engineering side of campus. I'm standing right in between the engineering office wing and the engineering lab wing. The engineering office wing is where you can find academic advising if you're an engineering or computer science student. The engineering lab wing is where all of the engineering labs are located. You can also find the University of Victoria Engineering Student Society, where a lot of the student clubs for engineering are held. I'm an engineer myself and there's a lot of different club options that you can participate, like the UVic Concrete Canoe Club or the UVic Biomed Club. Something really cool about UVic is that undergraduate students can actually participate in some of the professor's researches on campus. It does not matter what faculty you're in, there's always a club or a place or a research that you can help on. Something really cool that happens in the engineering lab wing, and it's open for every single UVic student, is the Victoria Hand Project, where they build hand prosthetics for countries that can't afford it. So here I am standing outside of Cunningham. If you choose to study science at UVic, this is one of three buildings you're probably going to be spending quite a bit of time in. Cunningham is home to the Department of Biology, and it also has the co-op office for biology students. Next door to Cunningham is Petch. Petch has microbiology as well as biochemistry and has the Center for Biomedical Research in the basement. Next door to Petch is Elliot. If you study chemistry or physics or astronomy, you're going to be spending some time there. All three of these buildings are also interconnected and host several undergraduate labs you'll be spending time in. So right now, I'm standing outside the Medical Sciences Building, which is home to the Island Medical Program and the Division of Medical Sciences. The Island Medical Program is a collaboration between the University of British Columbia and the University of Victoria to have a medical school on site at the UVic campus. 
After several years of studying at UVic and doing most of my undergrad here, I applied to the UBC medical program, and now I am a student at the IMP. Something I love about the IMP is that it allows me to pursue medicine while staying in Victoria and completing the majority of my program here. For students who might be interested in a graduate degree in neurosciences, that's where you'd be able to find a lot of opportunity within the Division of Medical Sciences. So now I'm in front of the McLaurin building. This is one of the original UVic buildings on campus. This is where the Faculty of Education is. They have a lot of classrooms where a lot of lectures happen. And part of the School of Music is also in here. They have a performance hall, a lot of practice rooms as well. Attached to the building, there's a little coffee shop called Max that a lot of students will tell you have the best reps on the UVic campus. And now we're standing outside of the Human and Social Development Building. This is home to child and youth care, social work, nursing, public administration, and health information sciences. As well, on the bottom of this building are computer labs that are available for all UVic students to use. So now I'm here standing in front of the David Turpin building. This is home for a lot of the departments within the social sciences faculty. They have a lot of classrooms, they have a beautiful courtyard that you can hang out with friends, and this is also where the Math and Stats help is located when it's not in the library. A fun fact about this building is that the roof is completely covered with wild strawberries. The David Turpin building was the third campus facility to earn gold level status in the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Green Building Rating Standards Program. And right behind us is the Business and Economics Building, home to the Peter B. Gustafson School of Business. Gustafson is a top-ranked business school where professors integrate content across subject areas, which gives you a holistic view into the practice of management. In addition to a quality education, you'll also build a network of friends through our small cohort program, study overseas, acquire a mentor, and participate in case competitions. The experiences Gustafson offers are so practical that graduates are usually hired within three months of graduation, often by the employers they worked with during their BCom co-op work terms. I'm now standing in the courtyard of the Clary Hugh building. This is a place not a lot of students know about. In a nice day, it is an amazing place to study and hang out with your friends. Clary Hugh, the oldest academic building on campus, is home to the UVix Humanities Departments and the Technology Solution Center, where students can access computer labs or ask for assistance with anything computer related. We're here at the Faculty of Fine Arts Courtyard. Whatever your creative path, there is a place here for you. The Fine Arts Complex comprises four buildings. The Fine Arts Building, the Visual Arts Building, the Phoenix Theatre and the School of Music. Central to them all is the Fine Arts Courtyard, where the Fine Arts community gathers for socializing and events. SBC's only standalone Faculty of Fine Arts Having a dedicated fine arts complex with multiple buildings helps create a strong sense of community and connection with our students and faculty members. The Phoenix Theatre is home to three diverse theatrical spaces for our theatre department, each fully equipped with their own lighting and sound system. A 194-seat thrust theatre, a traditional 200-seat proscenium theatre with fly gallery, and a flexible black box studio with collapsible seating. The Phoenix also has its own box office, full costume studios, production workshops, design studios, and classrooms. And here we are standing outside the Interfaith Chapel. This area provides multi-faith services to UVic students, faculty, and staff to support students' religious and spiritual care. A lot of things actually go on at the Interfaith Chapel that you might be interested in, ranging from meditation to free yoga, as well as religious workshops and education days. Over to the right, is beautiful Finnerty Gardens. It's a gorgeous space on the University of Victoria campus that you can walk through that has a lot of biodiversity and gorgeous flowers that are in bloom most of the year. So to wrap up our tour today, I'd like to take you to my favorite local beach. As a Brazilian student, I've always lived close to the ocean and that is one of many reasons that made me choose you, Vic. So here we are at my favorite local beach. It's a less than 10 minute walk from campus and about a three minute bike ride. It is a great place to hang out with friends and study in your free time. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you on campus soon.